Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Shainsky Jokerfan, and welcome to, um, my brother's room. My lighting is terrible. His is a lot better. So, today, I'm here to talk to you all things about The Walking Dead. It happened last night. The episode, it wasn't the best that we've had in the season so far, but I thought I'd talk about it. This is a new thing I'm going to be doing every Tuesday now. I'm going to be talking about The Walking Dead. This week I'm doing this by myself. Next week I should be having a guest presenter. Sadly, no one famous. But a guest presenter anyway. He's a lot smarter when it comes to comics. Walking Dead, basically. And so, I'm hoping to tell you all about how happy we are about the new season. I'm going to get to the other videos. I will actually talk about those in the half season finale since we're already four episodes in. So, Walking Dead starts off with Maggie waking up in the hilltop. Obviously, she's woken up and obviously she's found out that she's going to be okay. She hasn't lost the baby, which everybody's very happy about. Obviously, I think a lot of us were very worried about that, because obviously she looked like she was dying in the first episode, but she's okay. She's going to be fine. Her and Glenn Reed Jr. are going to be fine. That's a, that's a joke I'm coming up with. Uh, hit me with the hate comments in below, because I know you're going to be hating me for that one. Anyway, so, uh, obviously Sasha's been waiting for her to wake up, and she's found out that Glenn and Abraham have been buried. So she leaves Glenn's watch which was in his pocket, on his grave. And, obviously, Gregory comes by, gets upset that Maggie's here because she didn't do what she promised. He didn't tell her that they had an army, technically, because in the comic books, Rick comes back, kicks the shit out of Gregory, and asks why he didn't mention that Negan basically had an army. So, what happens is... Uh, they have an argument on how she wants to stay because the doctor says she should stay, but Gregory doesn't care. And Jesus says, okay, if you let me take them back because I'm not going to leave them by themselves, Gregory suggests that Jesus shouldn't come back. Anyway, so, then obviously, uh, they kick back to basically the night time. I'll kick forward because obviously you've seen it, so you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it and you're watching this, what are you doing? Anyway, so... Um... So by the night time, they hear music, and the gates are open. There's a car in the middle of the lot that's playing. So, Sasha decides, I'm going to go outside and try and stop it. So, Sasha gets out onto the roof, and goes to try and stop it. Maggie calls to Jesus for help, and says, Jesus, she's by herself, help her. So Jesus climbs down the building... Kicks the living shit out of some zombies or walkers, whichever you prefer. Um, and then, uh, obviously, Sasha can't open it because it's been padlocked. Then, Maggie comes by with the tractor and runs the car over. Obviously, because standing and watching is never a good idea because it's annoying. Because then you've got to wish that that person could help. So... The next day, Trevor. Now, obviously, his name's, I think it's Simon, I believe, but he's the boy who voices Trevor in GTA. So I'm just going to call him Trevor for the rest of this video. Trevor comes by with all his people and tells Gregor that he needs to talk. And they want to see this painting that he's been told about. And so he explains that a bunch of his people have been killed and that he is basically going to be in charge of the hilltop for a little while. Basically, is what he hints at. Because he says, I am your Negan for the moment. So, he had. So, before Trevor obviously shows up, again, Sasha and, and Maggie get told they have to leave by Gregor. And he's like, No, that's not happening. Again, Trevor shows up. Maggie and Sasha get told to hide in a cupboard or closet, whichever one you want to call it. So, Gregor. Decides, oh, let's not be nice. Let's tell on them. And then, obviously, when he realizes that Jesus hasn't hidden them in the cupboard he wanted them to be hidden in, he goes and 
goes, oh, well, yes, this is, and then Trevor's like, it's scotch. He's like, oh, no, no, it's not just any scotch. He's like, I'm more of a gin man. But he goes, why, well, thank you for the offer. So he takes the entire box of scotch. And then when Gregor goes to his room, Jesus lets them out. And he goes, this is my room. I told you to hide them there. And he goes, no, 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 no. You said hide them in a closet. He's like, but if they had come in here, it's like, what, you would have been told on us? Because, yeah. So, he goes, ah. Oh. And so he goes, please try not be troubled. As you can see, they're very reasonable, considering Trevor basically got him on his knee. He's like, kneel for me. He's like, what? Kneel. And he gets Gregor to go on his knees. Come on, that's not being reasonable. That's called being an asshole. So, what happens is, um... Maggie comes up and gives Gregor the good old hit in the face and goes in his pocket because he has Glenn's watch in his pocket, which to me I was very angry about. I was like, what the fuck are you doing with his watch in his pocket? And he goes, oh, it's a fine watch. It's too sad to be left in the rain. I'm like, it's his watch. It doesn't belong to you. You don't decide whose grave or whose stuff belongs to you. So... Obviously, then Enid, who I've completely forgotten about, halfway through, obviously, Enid and Carl decide they're going to go to Alexandria. Enid wants to see Maggie. Carl just wants to chum her to make sure she's not going to die on her way there. So, obviously, like I said, Trevor and his gang are loading up. Carl suggests that they go and try and kill Negan. Ne Enid doesn't want to. So when Maggie goes to go back... To give Glenn his watch back. Enid's already there. And she's hung balloons on his grave. And she's like, Enid. And so they get all happy. She sits down. And then it cuts to them having dinner. Sasha comes in and goes, Enid, you came here by yourself? And she's like, uh, yeah, yeah. When we know she didn't. But she doesn't want to tell him that Carl's with her. But not going in. So what happens is, she goes, by the way, why is there balloons on Abraham's grave? Enid looks at, uh... Maggie, she said, didn't have the heart to tell you. She's like, Glenn would have. He was a terrible liar. And so, Sasha had previously asked Jesus to follow them back to their house. So, as they're about to leave, Jesus jumps in the van, drinks a bit of the gin, and pours it out. And then all he hears, hey. And he, ha and he looks at the back, and there's Carl in the back of the truck, like this. Like, how you doing? It's like, nothing happening. And then the last shot is Jesus... Like, they like, how the fuck did you get here? So, that's basically a rough, that's the episode in a nutshell. My opinion is, it was a very slow episode, it wasn't very eventful, but I liked it anyway, because it's getting up to the big climax, because we know if you're a comic book fan, you'll know what happens after Carl sneaks into the van. Sadly, if you don't read the comics, then you don't know. So if you don't know, I'll explain it to you. Carl, in the original comics, it's actually when Negan first comes to the out to Alexandria. Carl sneaks in with Abraham's uh, assault rifle because they don't take the guns in the comics. So what happens is um, Carl, as they're loading the stuff back in the back in Negan's base, Carl shoots a couple of them, tells them not to move. Negan looks at him as if he's nothing. And thinks of how awesome he is. And so Carl shoots them. Uh, like, I think it was six guys he shot. Because it's hilarious. Because he's standing there with his big uh, assault rifle. It's half, it's like twice the size of Carl in the comics. And Carl is a short little kid. Because he's still like, I think he's like 11 or 12 or something in the comics. I don't know. Um, so, basically, Negan looks and goes, oh, I bet you picked that fucking gun because you thought it'd make you look cool. You totally fucking did, didn't you? It's twice your size. So, basically, Carl tries to shoot Negan at his own home. Fails, sadly. So, Negan decides he can't think of a punishment. He, so, he just, because, as you know, Negan, if you do something wrong, there's a consequence. Hence the reason why there were head bashings. Abraham got killed because of the base problem. And Glenn got killed because Daryl punched him in the face. So, what happens is, in the comics, Carl realizes that Negan isn't as tiny as he thought. Because, also, 
comics, uh, Carl just sees him as a guy who's in charge of people. But then he realizes he's a monster in charge of people. Negan's humor is also very toned down for the series. I'm not kidding. You think I'm joking? I'll tell you a scene. Just after he's thinking of a punishment for Carl, a guy knocks on the door and says, "Negan, you left Lucille in the car." And he goes, "You tr you pick you carried her all the way for me." And he goes, "Yeah." And he goes, "Did you treat did you um look after her?" And he goes, "Yes, sir." And he goes, "Did you treat her like a lady?" And he goes, "Um, yes." And he goes, and then this is the fucked up part. And he goes, "Did you eat her pussy like a lady?" And the guy goes, uh, uh, and he goes, I'm just fucking with you. It's a baseball bat, baseball bat, so I have pussies. It's like, that is how very, very fucked up his humor is. So, yeah, so it's building up to a big climax. I'm very much looking forward to that episode, because it's a 90 minute long episode next week. So next Tuesday, I'll be talking about a 90 minute long video. I'm very, very excited. So I hope um, I will see you all in the next video. Quick announcement, I am planning on doing three to four videos, three to four per week, hopefully. That's a hopeful thing. This is happening every Tuesday where I'll be talking about my Walking Dead. Every other week I'm planning on talking about, obviously, um, video games. So, hopefully, there will be a bunch of stuff for me to do. I do want some requests, though. I would like you to request in the comments down below some stuff you want me to do. Actually, I've just forgotten about some. I believe, I think... Wait a minute. No, I don't. I was thinking about something, but I don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, so guys, I'm happy that you guys are watching my videos. We're, at tw we're 23 subscribers strong. I'd like to give a big thanks to my, one of my good friends at... Uh, at Dean's Community High School, Jason Singh, very close friend of mine, where he is my brother from another mother, and I'd like to thank him because he has been sharing my videos on Facebook. You should check him out on his Facebook channel, Jason Singh, very nice guy, and I'm very, very looking forward to the, the next vid, the next week. So thank you guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.